taking it off to its first car show. So four days from derelict in a field to a show-ish car. We'll see. Also, I pinned up the roof. So the roof isn't falling down and flapping around, so that's great. And the radio stopped working again, which is less great. days ago it had not moved in 16 years yeah. and look at it that could have been us but I didn't want to spend more than a thousand dollars on a car wait oh <laughs> instead of having the tank down there but I also don't want the big open hole Mercury Cougar. <laughs> you want to go pat the snake? So the first car show was pretty good. Uh, so people were checking it out pretty good. Ooh, updates is we put in some plasticky stuff to stop the roof hitting our heads. Also threw a couple of staples in where you can't see them. So that's great. The radio started working again. I think it's a dry solder joint because it doesn't work when it's really, really hot and then it cools off a bit and it starts working. Um, we cleaned all of the goopy Oh, we didn't do a good job on that bit. Ignore that bit. These <laughs> bits here that we actually cleaned look really good. Yeah, um, seatbelts. Yeah, and got the muck off the seatbelts. Actually, something about the seatbelts is... Look there. Can you see that? It's actually embroidered with the Cadillac logo to hold the seatbelts together, which I thought was a very nice touch. Uh, what was today's projects? What did I do with this? Put proper battery terminals in and threw out the rusty bolts that Gord found in his boat bin and junk. The bolt method. Uh, it's got new headlights. I put the brown badge back on the trunk, so that's good. Now everyone knows that it's a brown and not a Fleetwood. Uh, what else? I don't even remember. It's been a pretty quiet day for the car. We just took it out cruising and made it not stink inside. Yeah, it was a good day. Did you have fun? a lot of fun. That's good.